What's up with you? For today's video, we really full love this team. 10 years ago for Valentine's Day, I did a love this team with like metronome. So I thought it'd be a fun little throwback here to do a full love this team. 10 years later. Now that was done on Pokemon Black and White and now I'm doing it on Scarlet and Violet. So there you go. If that doesn't make you feel old, I really don't know what does. I've got three battles today with the Love This team and uh, question of the day, do you have a Valentine? Let me know in the comment section. If not, just let me know as well. And uh, what do you think about Love This as a Pokemon? I think it's a pretty, uh, I know, it just needs some more moves, right? First battle here, uh, we got this one on the Poke Portal, and I've got a Rotom Moa lead. Now, this is a speedy Love This that's going to be setting up the Rain Dance. We've got Rest, Rain Dance, Attract, and Water Pulse. Max Speed and Max Health, Jolly Nature. Sorry, Timber Nature and Damp Rocker as the item. Unfortunately, we're going to Rotom Moa here, and it's going to be able to take me out. Next Pokemon is going to be Love This uh, number one here. Now, this is actually a sweeping set. Now, with Love This, you can actually see these scales on the side of it, which is a nice little uh, uh, cool sort of uh, additive to the Pokemon. And then, you know, other Pokemon that don't really change too much. So, it's interesting how they've done that. Anyway, so we got the Thunderbolt coming from the Rotom. Obviously, I'm going to be going for Endure here, and this is a weakness policy, love this. So I thought I'd have a go at trying to get a sweep with this Pokemon. It's really, really bad because of its stats, so I decided to go with a physical one. So I've got a Endure Waterfall Flail and Rain Dance set, and I really don't need to set up the rain here because it's already been set up for me. So I decided to go for the Terra Normal Love This with Flail because that's the strongest physical move that it can actually get. And I thought it was pretty cool too because it's actually got a ring on its head. And, you know, the ring is the size of a love this. So we're going to go for that Terra Normal Flower there. Max Attack and Max Speed and Adam Nature. Swift Swift Zivity. And that is going to be the end of the Rotom Mower. Next Pokemon is going to be Gengar. And Gengar's floating. It's crazy. I'm going to go for the Waterfall here. Waterfall is enough to take out the Gengar there. I don't know whether that was close or not. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't really have a high attack stat. The base is like... It's got base 30 attack. So there you go. Out comes Kalimora. That's going to get dropped as well. And we've got a mini Love This sweep going on here. Fun fact, the very first sweep I ever did on YouTube was Love This. Next Pokemon is going to be Bombardier. I'm going to go for the Flower here, And that is going to take it out, people. So we've got two more Pokemon left here. Now, the next Pokemon to come out is Charizard. And I noticed it was Charizard the Unrivaled. I was like, wait a second. They've got two more Pokemon left. This possibly could be Terra Dragon. So I decided to go for the uh, the Terra Flail here. And on the uh, Charizard, obviously, if I went for the Waterfall there, that would have definitely lived. So I was very, very glad I went for the Flail here. And Charizard is going to get sunk in one shot by the Mighty Love This and a Salty Rage Quit there on Valentine's Day, people. Man, that was a pure, pure goal there. Hope you enjoyed that, people. Let's get on to battle number two. If the video doesn't deserve like after that, I don't know what does. We got a battle here. This gets caught by set, and we have a very interesting matchup here. Love this and Squawk ability. That's really weird there. I've seen Love This. It was sort of like at the bottom, then it sort of clipped up to the top. If anyone does go back to the original Love This battle there, the link is in the description and it's in the pinned comment. And uh, leave a comment there uh, on the video and I'll give you a little uh, like a little little love heart, I guess, for Valentine's Day. And maybe a comment too, depending on how many people do post there. Now, uh, that's going to be the end of the uh, Squawk of It's going to be swapped out there. And we've got this Iron Valiant coming in, which is going to use Confuse Ray. On my uh, love this here. Now, love this number three. Let me go over this there. You know, love this has you know so many moves to use, uh, people. No, it's very, very barren, which makes it quite difficult to use. So I've got Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Blizzard, and Terra Blast Ground. Swift Swimmer's Ability, Damp Rock is the item. Uh, max Health and Max Special Attack, Modest Nature EV Spread here. So I don't really know 100% what this Iron Valiant is always even supposed to be, but then it's going to fling a Bright Power. I'm like, what the? Like, what? I, I'm not sure. I don't know what this set is about. Anyway, it's a troll. Set, I don't know that. So anyway, I'm gonna go for a, a Terra Blast out now. Obviously, I haven't uh, you know gone for a um, a Terra Ground. In this I just went for the normal Terra Blast, and I didn't really want to go for Terra Blast or Terra Ground just yet. So I thought I might need it on the other set. So in comes the Squall ability, and it's gonna go for it's a little intimidate, and now it's gonna mimic 
my Terra Blast there. So I'm like, wait, that's going to be Stab Terra Blast on Squawk ability. So anyway, I'm going to be confused here by the amazing movesets I've seen so far. And now I'm going to go for the Blizzard there. So Blizzard, unfortunately, going to miss. Here comes Terra Blast. Now coming off Squawk ability is like special attack. It's pretty trash. Like it's almost a competition which is going to be worse. Actually, love this special attack is slightly better than its attack. It's 10 more base power. So his atta attack is uh, base is 30 and its special attack is 40. So there you go. Some amazing, uh, absolutely incredible stats there. So now it's raining. I think it's been raining for like eight, uh, yeah, eight turns with a damp rock there. It's really, it's a good ability having Swift Swim. But uh, apart from that, it doesn't really learn too many moves. I really, really think that it should be a pre-evolution to Aloma Mole. It just absolutely works, right? So we got the uh, Squawk ability to go for a copycat Hydro Pump there, and unfortunate miss. It would have been pretty funny to see that one land. So that's the end of two Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be Luminion, and I'm going to go for Terra Blast here. Now, Luminion can have Storm Drain as his ability, so I didn't really want to use a Water-type move. But the problem was, Lovedis doesn't really get that big of a variety of moves. Like, most of them are Water, Ice, or like you know, Terra Blast, depending on what sort of type you want to go to. So here comes Gothita. I'm going to go into Love This Number 4 here. Now, Love This Number 4. Oh, this was the Draining Kiss set. This is Terra Fairy Draining Kiss, which actually really did suit it because, especially for Valentine's Day, right, it actually gets another Love Heart on top of the Love Heart body already. Watch this, people. It's quality. So there we go. We've got two Love This and ones. This could be like a middle evolution, and it could be really bulky of Everlight. I hope you're, uh, you know, Game Freak. I hope you're paying attention to this. So I, I've got the item as Big Root for no other reason, and we've got Draining Kiss, Soak, Attract, and Acro Rig. So we're going to uh, a Trick Room Goth they did, which is interesting. It's going to be setting up the room up. And now it's going to go for Future Side. So this is actually a Trick Room Future Side Fake Tears set. So it's going to be dropping my special defense Why I continually go for Draining Kiss over and over again. Now, Draining Kiss recovers 75% of the damage you deal. So it's very, very high. And with the Big Root as the item, that actually adds an additional 1.3 times to it, which is really, really cool. Uh, also, it adds to the amount that Akaring uh, does as well. That's why I've got Akaring on this set too. So Akaring is going to heal 1 16th. And we've got the Big Root adding on to that as well. Attract, of course, for Valor. I'd say, and we've got Soak too, so I can change the target's type to Water in case, you know, come across any steel type Pokemon. So now we got another future idea on my Love Disc, and uh, that first Love Disc, sorry, the second Love Disc got absolutely dominated. This is Love Disc number five, uh, staying alive. We've got Snowscape with Blizzard, we've got Hydro Pump and Rain Dance, so it does get two uh, forms of using weather, which is kind of interesting. So I'm going to go for the Blizzard there, and it's not going to take out because this uh, little Goth Eater actually got two two endures back to back and then landed a, uh, a future site on me again. Now, I wasn't sure whether I'd get one shot up by this because I didn't get hit by any... Um like any uh, fake tears at all, but I actually did have the item as Focus Sash on this one too. So even if I did uh, get one shot, I would have lived on one health. But uh, very, very cool Gothita set there. In comes Frigibax here. Frigibax is going to be super bulky under the snow. And it's, wait, wait that is an Icy Wind or Powder? I think it used Icy Wind, yeah. It used Icy Wind. It created me and I lived too. That something special attack, people. Here it comes again there. Since it did drop my speed, Love This 5 is not going to stay alive. So that's half the team gone now. We're going to go into Love This number 2. Oh, you got to see this set already. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, so this is a Rest, Rain Dance, Attract, and Water Pulse set. Max Elf, Max Speed, Tim and Nature. Hydration as the ability. So with the rain up on the field, I can go for Rest. And then, you know, the hydration will kick in and then, you know, instantly wake me up, which is really cool. Heal my, heal my status. So that's the end of the Frigibax. Now, the next Pokemon, well, there's two remaining Pokemon. We've got one more and we've got the Luminion. So I'm going to go for the Attractor Luminion. Luminion was a bit of a problem because, as I said before, if it does have Storm Drain, there's not really too much I can actually do to it. It seems to be a physical Luminion set, which I'm hoping for because... You know, if it was special, uh, it'd be very, very, uh, very, very bad for my team. So now I'm going to test and see if it does have the Storm Drain. And yes, it does have it. Because I was sort of just assuming it for the whole battle. But I actually wanted to try it out. Because, you know, some damage from a Water-type move is better than none. Now we're both going to use Attracted at each other. I'm like, okay, I, I can't do this. I can't do 
any damage to this at all. Leftovers is literally healing up all the damage that I'm doing as well. So we're going to go into Love Disc number six. Now, Laminia is going to be setting up a Tailwind there. It's going to make it even more speedier. So this had Leftovers as his item. Uh, during this battle, there was a lot of Leftovers recovery, not only in this battle, the next one too. So sometimes I'll sort of just... Um, just, sort of just cut them down because it's literally like 30 seconds worth of leftovers recovery in this whole video, right? So that's going to go for a U turn. That's going to be swapping out. And the next Pokemon is Golpin. Oh, I get it. For Valentine's Day, Golpin because Golpin these starts. I get it. I get it, right? So this uh, this is going to get confused uh, by my little love this here. This is a sweet kiss. I tried to give it all the like the you know the moves that would be, uh, I guess, around or theme for Valentine's too. So it gets like attract. Um, you know what? This, the, a move this should get would be Heart Swap. That would be a really appropriate move for Love This to actually get. I'm pretty sure it gets Heart Stamp as well, you know, before it was removed from the uh, the actual game there. So, Swallow actually get It's really funny because Swallow actually got kissed there before. I mean, would you kiss those Swallow lips? I mean, Gulper lips? Anyway, so Gulper's going to hit itself with confusion. It seems to be like a bulky stockpile set. I'm going to go for Water Pulse here. I'm not really doing a lot of damage because, number one, I don't have any special attack at all, but I was just trying to get, like, some damage. Uh, you know, it's going to be better than none, right? So I got a couple of uh, rounds of uh, the Gulpin actually hitting itself in Confusion, which is pretty lucky. And, you know, suddenly Gulpin is at half felt, which is good there, because as you can see, Water Pulse, it's really not doing too much damage at all there. So now Gulpin is on its third turn of Confusion, and it's going to get a second stop off. So there's no way I'm going to be able to fight this anytime soon, but at least I've done, you know, some damage to it, right? So now it's got the uh, plus one, in sorry, plus two in defense and plus two in special defense, and I'm wondering if it actually had an Everlight. Now, the damage I was doing to it was, obviously it wasn't very much at all, and I was thinking, I think this thing doesn't have Everlight, because it, it would have done less, you know? So it's going to be a spit-up stop pulse hit. I'm going to go for a final water pulse here. It does not take it out, and then my question was answered. So the little Golpin had a uh, Sally Berry, so it was, it, apparently it was max speed and max special attack. But since uh, Golpin is so slow, it still didn't outspeed my little love this there. But an amazing set there, and that is the end of Golpin. The last Pokemon remaining is Luminion from earlier on, and I can't use any water type moves at all. But I do have a plan, and I'm going to uh, execute it. So setting up that Rain Dance here, here comes a Waterfall. So it's got Tailwind, U-Turn, Waterfall, I think that's all the moves that I, I might have missed out the other one that did that, but our yeah, limiting is a little bit limited on the physical side itself there. So we're going to go into Love This number one here. Now, I'm going to go for Waterfall, apparently because I don't really want to give away that I've got Flail at the moment, and I don't need to use Rain Dance because it's already raining, and I know that it's not a special attacking set. So now it's going to go for U10 here. U10 seems to be, it's, I'd say Waterfall might be a little bit more powerful here, but U10 uh, still does a pretty good amount of damage. So at this stage, what I want to do is I want to actually hit the Luminion with the most powerful move I've got, which is Flail. So now I've been locked into like a lower mana help, which is good. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go for Endure here and then go for a second uh, second Flail. You know, that's going to be some uh, you know pretty powerful damage. Will it take Luminion out? I think it's going to be pretty close. So here comes another Waterfall putting me on one health. I'm going to Endure that head. And uh, now Luminion is going to take some more, more health uh, from the leftover. So I almost took it out. Oh, I'm so close. And uh, Lumidia is going to take me out with a U-turn there. So bye-bye, love this number two. My final love this gear is the Draining Kiss set. Now, this is love this number six. We had Wish, Draining Kiss, Akaring, and Sweet Kiss. And I went for a Draining Kiss, and that is going to finish off the battle. How ironic, people, that I finished the battle off on love this. Oh, well, on Valentine's Day, we love this with Draining Kiss. So, a uh, very, very nice battle there. Let's get on to battle number three. Now, this battle went for an enormous amount of time. So, it was a section of this battle that I actually had to, uh, you know, speed up. Uh, this is a battle against uh, Super Bowser, and we have a Love This versus Love This team here. Now, we have appropriately nicknamed all the Love This, like Love This number three and two and stuff like that. So, this is going to be my turn. I'm going to be setting up the Rain Dance here. Now, this was a bit of an interesting battle here because Love This doesn't really have a lot to hit an opposing Love This with either, though. Basically, the strongest move here is either going to be Hydro Pump in the Rain or like a Terror move. 
That was a, a baby doll eyes love. This, which is pretty appropriate for, uh, you know, Valentine's Day. But I was running a special set. So I'm just going to go for Hydra Pump again. And that is going to be the end of Love This 69. So, you know, a pretty good start to the battle there. Very, very nice. Now the uh, Love This number five is going to be coming out here. And I can just keep spamming Hydra Pump. It seems to be a two-hit KO there. Maybe a three if the Love This do have, like, a little bit more bulk. So here comes the Draining Kiss. Draining Kiss is not going to be doing hardly anything to me at all. But it is going to enable Hydra Pump to be a three hit. Sorry, a three hit code instead of a two. Now, Hydra Pump doesn't have too much PP. So when I run out of this move, it's not going to be too good. Now, in comes Love This 4 is going to go for a Blizzard here. Blizzard not doing much at all. And I can go for a Disrespect Blizzard here. And that is going to take out Love This number four. So everything is going pretty uh, pretty swimmingly at the moment. Out comes our Love This number one. It is a Shiny Love This. So I have to say, Shiny Love This is a, is a pretty good shot. Um, for sure. Um, I was thinking about doing another love this week, but I've done like three of them already, and there's not too much different I can do. So I don't know if I'll redo a love this week for like a long while. I'd probably like to wait till it gets like a new move. Like, you know, something that's really, really going to change the entire move setup. But I won't hold my breath. I don't think that's, you know, going to happen for a very, very long time. So now this is pretty funny. We got a Terra Ice Love this. It's going to set the snow up, and then I'm going to set the rain up. Then I'm going to hit it with a, uh, I think I hit it with a blizzard there, because I thought the Love this may set up the snowscape, and I thought we may be having, like, speed ties back and forth there, you know, with the Swift Swim or, you know, this 252 and EVs with uh, Tim and or Jolly Nature. So this one's going to be Terra Ice, and then my Love this free got frozen so i had to let it go here people my love heart, my my heart was frozen you know I, I couldn't do anything it was very very cold right now so this is a life orb love this the big life orb love this on your peter channel and it's also got our uh, terror ice it's firing off ice beams left right and center so i love this number three actually never thawed out here. It was just like frozen, you know, for the entire time. And then it finished me off with a disrespect water gun. That was cruel. That was really, really cruel there. I would totally never do that. So now I'm going to bring in Love This number one here. It's time to fight uh, Love This with Love This. And Love This number one is going to slide out of that matchup. Now Love This number five is going to come in. Oh, this is the bulky one with Draining Kiss that I seen. Uh, earlier on, I'm pretty sure. And uh, now I'm gonna go for the Terra. Oh, this time with the uh, with the yellow love disc. I had two of them, right? And uh, one of them was a Terra Water. So Cloud Mode is now activated. I'm gonna go for a Rain Dance, and then I'm gonna go for a uh, a Waterfall. So this is like uh, just a more powerful version of the Waterfall. So I'm gonna take the uh, love this out, love this number five out, almost, and I get a flinch. And now I'm gonna pay it back for that water gun with a full HP flail. So that one felt good there. I, I felt that was like definite karma and payback. So now comes love this number two, and this is where my problems started to uh, to occur here. Right, you watch this. Love this number two was a real thought in my side. So now it's gonna go for Hydra Pump. Hydra Pump does a good amount of damage to me, and it's gonna go for a second one here. Now with the rain up there, that actually managed to two-shot my Love This number one, which is, you know, it was my sweeping set there. And uh, there wasn't any way I was ever going to get Weakness Palsy to activate that too. So now I went to Love This number five, staying alive. And I'm going to set up that rain again because the rain did manage to stop. And uh, it was funny because a lot of the time we both went for a rain dance. One of us would go first and then the second rain dance would actually fail. So uh, we're going to be firing some Hydra Pumps off here at, you know, at each other. And the opposing uh, Love This is doing a lot of damage and there's a lot of speed ties as well. And Love This fives get dropped. So suddenly Love This two is... It's coming in clutch here. It's taking out like a lot of Pokemon. It also has leftovers as the item too. So now I'm going to bring in my own love this too to see what I can do. Oh, well, that's amazing, people. So now we've got a Hydro Pop here and I'm going to go for a Water Pulse. So Water Pulse uh, isn't going to do a lot plus... I don't have any, like, special attack EVs at all. So I'm trying to get a confusion, and I got one. I was like, that's really, really cool. But this love this. It was tenacious. It kept landing them over and over against me. So I had to go for the scumbag taxi. Yeah, I went for the attract, and I tried to shut this love this too down. It was really, really bad. Now, the rain is going to stop here, and going to keep spamming uh, the water pulse. So water pulse with the attract and the confusion was my way to try and get around uh, love this number two um, sort of thing there. A lot of Pokemon don't have 
have for Attract anymore. They virtually got rid of it in the game. And the Love This somehow gets through all the scum and takes out Love This number two. And suddenly this battle, like, and now I'm losing this battle. I'm like, what the heck? I was winning that one easy. So now we're going to go into Love This number four. Uh, Love This number two is going to go for a Blizzard here. And this is where I absolutely had to speed up the battle. Because Love This number two, right? Sorry, Love This number four actually had to go for draining kiss so what i did here is i was spamming draining kiss like i got my control this is what i was doing ready for this like i'm gonna do it again right this is what i did ready i was spamming the i was just spamming the a button that's all i was doing like that's literally all i could do like i was trying to get damage i was trying to get as much health back as possible right so and i had the big root as well so i had uh i had that on my side too so it comes love this number one there it got a wish pass to it and then it went for a terror blast ice it didn't do a lot of damage to me and i just continually spam the draining kiss like over and over again. Now, Draining Kiss has got 16 PP max, right? And you wouldn't read about it. I used up all 16 PP on Draining Kiss. Like, you probably have never done that before, especially when you're losing a like. I love this, right? So I kept spamming it over and over again. There was two Love This left on either side of the field, right? Now, the Love This managed to get a wish off here um, with the Love This uh, number three. It managed to get the wish off. And uh, then I went for a final uh, Draining Kiss there and it fainted. So, we got like love this number two left here now love this number two was uh, was so annoying because what it did right it used protect it had leftovers and it just kept healing itself up over and over again there and a spamming blizzard as well the only thing i was worried about here is if i actually got frozen by like blizzard like earlier on now we were getting very very close here to like almost the end of the battle here and this love this it was just pure stall i was getting salty because i was trying to take it out and then what happened right is at this point, the last hit on the love disc, I actually ran out of draining kisses. So what I needed to do here, I had to swap out this love disc number four and go into my next love disc to try and take love disc number two. I feel like love disc number two nearly took out my entire team at this stage. So we're going to go into love disc number six, another protect spam here, another round of leftovers, and we're, we're around, I know, 19 minutes deep into the battle, you know, so we're, we're really firing. So first things first i went for the ackering i had to get that recovery and now i was going to go for just the constant spam of uh my own draining kiss you know because i had it on two pokemon so i was looking through my moves right let's go for the draining kiss i've got 10 on this one that's good or sweet kiss we'll do that and then the timer ran out we've got 20 minute timer but i'd say i would have won that battle in the end peace out people